Battling to save an industry, citrus growers are a hardy group, and they have to be. They've been fighting greeting disease for nearly two decades. Then back-to-back -back hurricanes dealt a state a massive blow. West News Abe McDaniel looks at the latest citrus crop forecast and the path forward for growers. It's, I mean, I've been here since the 70s. Ed White's a second-generation citrus grower. This is what greening does. It's the past decade and a half, it's been a battle against citrus greening, a disease which robs trees of nutrition. And just as treatments for the damaging disease are looking promising, back-to-back -back storms. That is the citrus belt now, south of Orlando, further south of Orlando, all the way across the state. And of course, that's right where Ian went through. Even at his grove in Seminole County. We lost about 40 percent, 35, 40 percent of what we grow here in our grove. It is certainly discouraging for me. It's discouraging for the industry. The latest Florida citrus forecast of just under 16 million boxes of oranges is only about 6% of what the state was growing more than 20 years ago. It shows the challenges ahead, according to Florida Citrus Mutual. The hurricanes back in the fall, Ian and then Nicole, uh, just as we had these tools and we're starting to deploy them into commercial production, uh, just gave us a, a real a real wallop. Congress is moving to approve hurricane relief for citrus growers, help desperately needed. The margins have gotten tighter. Your production has declined while your production costs on these greening impacted trees is probably tripled. And so the growers have really been hanging on by a thread. In a way to roll with the punches, they opened a farm store and a barbecue stand about six years ago. Now it makes up about half of their business. White says even though the business can be tough. We'll continue to grow oranges as long as we can. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.